we are back again. Now, the question is, do we think we can finish this bitch tonight? I'm making seriously good time. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Chris? I think we might be able to finish it. That's my goal. Wrap this bitch tonight. Unless I'm forgetting how much left is <laughs> how much more is left. What's up, Cole? Hitman or Splinter Cell? Um, I'm gonna go Hitman. I'm gonna go Hitman. I think it's more more fun, more replayable. Scar's got a whistle like no other. Why doesn't Love want to go to Santa Barbara? He's worried about her mom. About what'll happen to her because of us. Should he be worried? He needs to focus on his own safety right now. What could happen to her? Sometimes parents are held responsible for their children's sins. But our mom is so devout, she'll probably be fine. Are there options for helping her? He can't convince her to. So chaos mango. No one could. I'm more. Uh, Chris, no. I, Neil Druckmann yeah. talked about it, but Lev, I don't think it was confirmed. Uh, actually, I think he might have even Lev, said that they decided not to go Lev. that route. You know, I wonder if he saw this. I think maybe he alluded to this. Last of Us Three, maybe Mom, having a focus on to Tommy. Him. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but I remember. I don't remember reading anything was confirmed. I know that much. Dying. You hear that? Lev. Are you in here? Can we? Oh, let's see. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. She just wants to play. Hey, girl. What you got there? She won't hurt you. Okay, watch. Go get it, girl. I, uh, I think she wants you to throw it again. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna throw it at her. So Dog, a fucking attacker. Rawr. You want to try? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Come on, just do it. She's not going to bite, right? Nope. I promise. She would love that. Yeah, yeah, let's just stop looking for your brother that has just ran away to a murderous cult and let's play fucking fetch for an hour. Did I watch the documentary? No, I've seen clips of it. Looking forward to the next 31 on 31. I am. Should be uh should be a fun one. Okay, let's go. Enough of this. Come on. She'd strangle him with her bare hands. How much did he tell you? Not much. I heard some of your people calling him 
Lily. For a long time, I didn't understand why he was questioning the laws, the traditions. When he explained to me how he felt inside, I told him he had to keep Yeah, I'm streaming face. again. <laughs> Are me and CPC and who's going to beat the game first? No. I mean, we joked about that from the beginning. I told him I'll let him get like 12 live stream head start. Um, then he shaved his head. I'm just hooked on it, trying to get through it so that I can get back to Suicide Squad and... Um, few other things that's why i've been streaming pretty rapidly i'm hoping tonight i might be able to even finish the game or at least get I close screamed at him but I cp is a couple of live streams away from the rat king that's what i want to see him play i guess that's when i hear his reaction so oh. yeah, i have an idea not a huge fan of abby's section of the game story-wise it does have some pretty cool moments i can't lie i really enjoy the story on the Abbey section, to be honest with you. I think it's really interesting. I, there's some days I might say it's a little bit more interesting than the Ellie storyline. Because hers is just revenge. Abbey, there's a lot more layers going on. So, now? I really like it. Shaved his head, I mean. Last week, he got assigned his role in the community. He wanted to be a soldier like me. But they decided he was to be a wife to one of the elders. Poor kid. Where is Santa Barbara? It's in California. Where's California? Okay, so look. Uh, this is Seattle, and this is Santa Barbara. And our island? It's too small to see, but it would be up here. <laughs> so far. Yeah. There's gotta be something left around here. Nah. We can do better than these shirts. This is cute. See anything worthwhile? No. Keep looking. Stop making drawers with nothing in them. It's perfect. Mel's wrong. No. You're a good person. You don't know me. I know enough. Abby, will you stop stealing my stuff, please? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you owned everything in the aquarium. Yeah, well... My aquarium. My stuff. I'm just kidding. Take whatever you want. You can't. Have you seen Lev? Uh, yeah. He was down that hallway. Can I... Can I talk to you? I'll catch up. Okay. She couldn't tell I was joking. I suck with kids. <laughs> yeah. They 
might really like you, though. So, um, come to Santa Barbara, right? I can't. Why? You know why. We can figure this out. And you got a baby on the way, you it's little fuck boy. No, no, it isn't fuck. I know. I know it's a fucking mess. I know. But we can choose to be happy. Happy. We're allowed to be happy. <gasps> no, you ain't. <laughs> I wish Resident Evil would do this approach, Cody. Like having perspective from both sides. Yeah. Flip, get back here. See what Flip. you mean. What's he doing? He's Dumb going fuck. After, her. after who? His mom. She's gonna kill him, Abby. Is the boat ready? Not yet. How much time do you need? Uh, a few hours. Fuck. We'll head him off. We'll grab a boat from the marine. Hey, she just had surgery. I'm fine. How else am I gonna find him? I'll go with you. Owen? They're heading to the fucking island. Exactly. I'm not gonna let her go by herself. Actually, you are. I can help. Yeah, by staying here and fixing the fucking sailboat. Get your priorities straight. Yara, let's go. Tell him. There's the marina. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. Do wolves use this place? We docked some of our boats there. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Really? <laughs> Literally stopped at the end of it and she's just like, fuck it. Geronimo! Here. I've got you. I can do it. Bitch is tough. Yeah, I just had my arm chopped off this morning. I'm good. Careful. What the hell is that? So, how do we? The fuck was that? One piece? There are blind spots along the coast we can boat into. From there, we'll follow back roads. They're safe. Safest option we have. Any chance Love is gonna change his mind? None. He's too stubborn. Does he get what he's walking into? I thought he did. He's got a soft spot for her. I mean, it's his mom. Yeah. She wants to see her. Still nothing. How do we get to the marina from here? Let's just go around. Down this way. <laughs> Try and keep your arm dry. Here. Oh, 
Move your ass out the Stop. way. I've got it. What up, Dale? Are across the water over there. We just gotta get up to the road and go around. Okay, sounds good. Stay on the dock. I'll go get a boat and pick you up here. No, I can help. Not with this. I got it. Okay. Okay. Damn. Fucking nose itching. Ah. What did everybody think of the Deadpool trailer? I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Somebody's getting fucked up. Get down! Uh. Abby, what the fuck? Manny. You by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. This sniper's a fucking bro. What are you doing out here? The boats. We were supposed to hit the island tonight. Then this pendejo showed up. I sent the guy to call for help. Backup should be on the way. Should be. I need one of those boats. Now. Why? Ask me later. Then I guess you're gonna help me take this guy out. Let's do it. Stay low! Kill my whole fucking team. Don't worry, we'll get him. Fuck these trespassers. What trespassers? The last few days, they came out of nowhere. They're hitting us hard. This way. See. Why? Don't know. Through here. Go, go. Ooh. Hit the dead body.
No! them to us. Get ready. Motherfucker.
Mark, he runs! Yeah! I can't wait to get my hands on this guy. Couldn't have gone far. Down! Damn it! Hey! It's the speech of Muerto! Abby! Right there! Keep the pressure up! Found out. Get back to the aquarium. Come on, I'll take that boat. All right, let's catch up on the chat. Uh, what do I think about the new Twisters trailer? I mean, it looked like a sequel to Twister. I mean, I don't know. It, it's Twister is one of those movies that like everybody loved when we saw it in the theater, and then you take it home, and it's like, oh yeah, this movie's not very good. But, you know, there's a little nostalgia there, I guess. It it looked... 
like just the right amount of dumb where it might be fun, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not very good. Which way? Looking forward to Kingdom of Planet of the Apes more than Deadpool. I agree. I agree. Where is everyone? No guards? We don't use this corner of the island. Look, Liv's boat. We have to catch up to him. Do you know where he's going? To our house. That's where our mom will be. How far is it? Across the island? Shit. What about your people? We'll take back trails. They won't see us. Are you sure the wolves are attacking tonight? Yeah, that's what my friend told me. They'll use this storm as a cover for the attack. Unless Isaac changes his mind. Your leader, Isaac. What does he want? An end to the fighting. But at what cost? At this point, any cost. Up here. Are you good climbing that? It's the fastest way. Abby, why are you helping us? Lev asked me the same thing. I guess you don't deserve this. But also, I needed to. I had to. Whoa. Is that your village? No, that's Haven. Ours is further inland. our warning signal. Your people are here. And the whole island is on alert now. We need to hurry. God damn it, Isaac. God damn. We'll cut through the logging camp. Follow me. How many people live here? Around a thousand. How many soldiers? Half of us are trained in combat. What are the other half gonna do when my people get here? Some will hide. Most will fight. Where is everyone? Off fighting. the storm when you're lost in the darkness look for the light what's that something my dad used to say you need to climb up there It'll be locked. The lumber mill. The big building on the right with the torches. Think it's us out of here? Yeah. 
We can cut through it. Perfect. Come on. Close the gate. Uh. Seal up the camp. Don't you seal me off just yet. On our left, they've got all the children from harm. Clear your mind. This is going to be a long night. Oh, Remember, crap. only through fear. We find our true strength. I'm not ready. For the sake of your team, you will be when the time comes. That was close. I don't know how the fuck she didn't see me, but whatever. I ain't gonna argue. Don't try. I'll try something for you. Where'd that bitch go? Quicker than that. Oh, no. Out the way, out the way. There we go. Wolves in our village! Fuck me. Protect the camp! Get to the mill! You'll pay for this, Yara! Oh, you bitch. Oh, fuck you with the damn hit detection. Oh, bullshit. I think that's it. Yeah. You all right? Just... Just a little bit. Come on, 
this way. Holy shit. May she protect us. Isaac, what are you doing? Damn it. What the fuck? She's out. Just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Cheating. Her love, you're gonna get your ass whooped. How the fuck? <laughs> Run right past her. Hey, Yara. Got you now. Look up for the lodge up ahead. Yara, back in the logging camp. Where were they taking the kids? There's shelters everywhere. If things get really bad. We'll take them off the island. Good. We need this team like. Village is just on the other side of the farm. <laughs> Great. Where are we going? See that tall tower? The space needle. What? Yeah, I see it. Head towards it. Oh, With fuck you. Alright now. Keep campaigning for this ass whooping you can get elected. Shades are fucked up tonight. Is there anybody left? No, oh, somebody.
Ah, oh, you fucker. Down one. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Here. Come on. How's the arm? <sighs> Hurts. This way. <sighs> Plenty of arrows in this place. movie I watched in the theaters was The Black Phone. Wow! It's been about two years? Yeah, sorry you had a bad experience, J-Dev. People are assholes. Yeah, of course. I've, I've played all the Arkham games. They're awesome. I was thinking. We can cut through Old Town, avoid the main roads. How far's Haven? Not close, but it's our best chance. Just keep following us. Lead the way. Everyone's left to fight the wolves. Yeah. Oh, 
across your arm. Arm's fine. I'm just tired. Yeah, her arms. Right. It sucks. Well, so we had to come out in this rainy ass right. fucking village to I find know. your little dumbass. Then why would this happen? Thanks for asking. Our faith doesn't make us immortal. Bosses round every corner. She guides us. We're leaving so many people behind. We can't help them. I know. Stay close to me. Okay. Oh God. We need to get off the street. Lev, Abby, this way. The alley across the street. Go. Crawl under the truck. Abby, we need your help. Still nearby. They're all over. Just keep going. You don't hear that shit? I need you to hear me out. What's that behind you? He saved my life. Move out of the way. We'll deal with you back home. He's not one of them, please. Abby, move. God damn it, he's just a kid. You have three seconds to get away from that scar. One. You're really gonna shoot me? Two. I'm not fucking moving. people. Hey, you're my people. Listen to me. We're gonna have to fight to get out of this, okay? And then I need you to show us to those boats. We don't let anybody stop us. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Follow me. Hey, 
Grab what you can. I have everything I need. Okay. You said that like there's a bunch of shit laying around, Abby. There ain't nothing here. Grab what you can. There's an empty soda can over there. Okay, what the fuck? Oh. Oh fuck! That just kill me. <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> Go ahead. Walked right into an ambush. Fucker. Not on my best tonight, am I? This is the most I've gotten my ass kicked in six streams. What the fuck? Thank you. 
You still with me? Yeah. That got a little wild. Looking forward to the new Walking Dead spinoff. Uh, short answer is no. Long answer is fuck no. <laughs> uh, honestly, like the the Rick and Michelle one, I'll probably watch it because it's only supposed to be a few episodes long. Because technically, that's really going to be the end of the series, I guess, unless they don't end it and it continues on to something else, I guess. But I don't know. The Walking Dead just annoys me. It already felt like it had been going on way too long, and then you get the series finale, and it's like, oh, it's not a finale, it's just a pilot for three other shows starring the same characters. So I never watched the, the Negan and Maggie show, I didn't watch the Daryl Dixon show. Haven't heard much that motivates me to really check them out. I mean, I don't think anybody's been, like, eviscerating them, but I haven't really heard anybody raving about them either. Just a property that they've bled to death. Right. No, I don't need anything. Get out of there. I've got all that shit right now. Yeah, so. Through here. Oh my god. Is that Haven? Yeah. What's left of it? Lev, where are the boats? Um, on the docks. No the shit. Fires. Then we better get down there before they're all gone, right? Yes. We're not dying on this island. I know. Let's get down there. God damn. I don't know why I'm so itchy. Where do we go? the stone bridges. Okay. Follow my lead. Oh, fuck you. Aim has been really pissing me off tonight. Shoot at their head and they hit them in the fucking shoulder.
Fucking Christ. Motherfucker, I can't. Oh my god. Abby, I have an idea. I got an idea too. Get the fuck out of the way. We can use that horse. Lev, come on. You know how to ride? More or less. Hang on. Visuals are fucking incredible on this part. Fire effects are unreal. Fucking bitch. What 
Thought she was dead. Shit. Run, Liv. Jesus Christ! I don't remember this spot being this fucking hard. Really, it doesn't go through wood. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Bulletproof motherfucker. I 
Bart was a bitch. And I don't know why. that arrow out and stab his ass. Come on. on the chat. Will I play the GTA 6 remake? Uh, I mean, GTA 6 in general? Yeah, I'll play it. Can't wait for part three. Me too. Am I going to review this version? No. Not really much reason to. It's, I mean, it's all my thoughts on re my review of the original game. This, they stand. Here. Uncharted or Red Dead next? Are you asking me, like, which one to be remade? 
Um, I don't really think we need a remake of either of them, but I saw there was rumors that they were going to remake um, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I wouldn't be totally opposed to that, just because there's a lot in that original... That, that original game still plays well, but that franchise advanced so much to that second game onward that the first game could use a bit of sprucing up. But I kind of... I, I don't want... I don't want the gaming industry to lean so hard into this remake craze. Like, I love them when they make sense. If it's a game that, like, if they remade the original Metal Gear Solid, I would love that. Because we haven't had, uh, you know, aside from the, the GameCube game, the Twin Snakes, haven't been able to play that game since the PlayStation 1. So it's long overdue for a, a modern day retooling. But some of these where it's, like, just one or two generations ago, don't necessarily need it. And I'd like the, some of these developers to spend more time on original stuff or sequels or something like that versus just, hey, here's that game you love, but it looks better. And don't get me wrong, sometimes they're fucking amazing. I mean, my favorite game of last year was the Resident Evil 4 remake, but I just don't want every franchise to suddenly be remake crazy. Like, I would say, uh, I would say to remake Jack and Daxter before remaking Uncharted. Is that... Stay behind me. Yeah, you ain't gonna like what you find, Rhonda. Lev, you little snitch. where we started. What do we do when we find him? Just figure out how to get in first. Lights are on. Still with me, love? Yes. that letter. Ready?
Eso cuidas. He's been tracking us. Hands up. Back away from your shit. I said back up! You're making a big mistake. Don't fucking turn around. Love, keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. You gonna kill me like a coward? Shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. up. All right. Stop. Stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon. No. No. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Wait! Get off of her! Watch the exits, don't let her leave. Don't you fucking run! It's funny when this game first came out. I kept seeing a lot of clips of people getting into this part and just just letting Ellie kill you and pretending that's the end of the game. you. This part- oh shit. This shit's gotta be terrifying on permadeath. <laughs> Get all the way here and then fuck it up at the end. Fine, fine, fine.
Oh, fuck. Drop on her for a second there. There you are. Nah, you didn't see me. Don't bullshit me. Oh, fuck you. Hey, yeah, Ellie's a pain in the ass. No, you didn't. Another part I don't remember being quite this hard. Not enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Get to you in just a second, Josh. Ow. I didn't think you... Damn! Thought I was far enough away from it. 
Thoughts on the Silent Hill 2 combat trailer? Uh, I mean, it, it looked fine. You know, the combat has always been, like, the least... The, 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 the least impressive, the smallest focus of this Silent Hill franchise. So it was odd to me why they would focus the first gameplay trailer on the combat. It's like, well, nobody really cares about the combat in Silent Hill 2. You're supposed to kind of... It, it's not Resident Evil, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it looked fine. It looked like okay combat I would have led a trailer more with like the creature designs or like showing some iconic spots from the video game god damn man Ellie don't fuck around Still with the goddamn machete. I thought if I had a bottle of... Oh, well. CP's gonna have a hell of a time with this spot. He's like, bitch, I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Fucking thing, get out of my way. Yeah, you gotta think that <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how much the show tones down how just brutally dark this story is.
a Dexter video game, huh? Yeah, maybe. I could see an interesting version of that, maybe. What's up, you little goobers? Hey. Thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Not some tunes. Ah, you want a boogie, huh? All right. I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. I'm with you. My bar is very low. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> This is kind of working on me. You're weird. I am aware. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you're distracting me. No. You're distracting all of us. Just nonsense. All right. What's yeah. your opinion on Bloober Team Games? Um, you don't have to put it in a super chat, but give me some examples of what Bloober Games are, because I don't recognize the name. This is where the game should have ended. Ah, I disagree. Where is he? Disagree. Pretty sure he's on the tractor. Because while Abby came to a point of being able to let it go, Ellie did not. And she spends, you know, like, what, a year or whatever convincing herself that she's let it go, but find out very soon that she can't. You want some fresh air? Hey, appreciate it, J Dev. Enjoying go. you watching, enjoying watching you play this. Looking forward to season two of the show. Thank you for hyping the first season up, as it made me want to watch it. Awesome. Yeah, man, I loved season one so much. So I, I really, really, really hope they can do not some enough really cash, creative stranger, with this story. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. To adapt it to the the next couple seasons. Not enough cash, stranger. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bloober Team is doing the Silent Hill 2 remake. Their past horror games include Layers of Fear 1 to 2, Observer, Blair Witch, and The Medium. I have not played any of those. <laughs> so I guess I don't have much of an opinion. Um, I watched CP play The Medium a little bit. It looked interesting, but uh, I didn't play it myself. I'm going to go hang up the laundry. You got that? Yeah, I got it. You think he needs his jacket? Ah, he's fine. Look at this little goat. You wanna pet him? Here. Meh. Uh, all right, here you go. Oh, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. Just like that. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Babies aren't gentle. Yeah, Babies it. snatch, you get the sheep into and they the snatch I quick. I can do it. Yeah? Yeah. That fucking goat's That's eyeball would be in his hand before he even blinked. <laughs> okay. Here. Come on. Put you in there. Don't stay out too long. We still need the bath. I'm like the herding master. All right, get your bitch ass in the barn. Come on. Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn. So, come on. Snowy. Barn time. Daisy, head on in. Wow, that's a lot of sheep. How many do you think that is? All right, you little bitches. Fucking ass over by the bar. Come on. Better stop, because I'm getting sleepy. Eugene. Hey, hey, inside, inside. Todd. Move it or lose it. <sighs> we definitely have way too many sheep. The fuck are you going? Hey, Get your ass Someone in the barn. Tasty snack. You warm enough, buddy? Just a few more. I got one for you. What's the quietest animal on a farm? A sheep. When you're older, you're gonna have a deep appreciation. Am I missing one? Jokes. Nice job, JJ. We did it. I fucking thought so. Okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey. How'd you get out? Come on, little dude. Bring in the. It's okay. Hey. Oh, man. It's good. I haven't had a, any excitement in a while. Would you consider trying out some of Bluebird's games before the Silent Hill 2 remake comes out? It would be fun to watch you play them on a stream. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Okay. Problem is, it's hard enough for me to keep up with the new releases. So, having older stuff just for the sake of it is always tough. Cody, Cody Leach is awesome, that's it. I'm not going to argue. If that's it, then that's it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully they do a good job of Silent Hill. I mean, I don't know. I still think it's weird to start with the second game. 
at least you can you can give me an argument that it makes sense to start with Metal Gear Solid Three if they're going to go chronological. Starting with Silent Hill Two is just odd to me still. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's quite a grip you got there. Hey, Tommy. There you are. Here, let me take it. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah. Go. Here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. He's getting heavy. No, he's <laughs> just a big ball of muscle. Hmm? Sounds good. Maria good? Oh, she's fine. We, uh... We're taking some time apart. Mm. Oh, sorry. Nah. We talked about it a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's what we both want, so... <clears throat> okay. Come sit. I got something to show you. So I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. That's got to be her. I like how they just have the clock ticking in the background like a metronome. It's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. <laughs> what a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. Right away at your like a disease. Would you ever consider live streaming any of the Arkham games? Yeah, I, I, a couple of streams ago, actually, I said I'd like to do that. That um, playing Suicide Squad made me long for the <laughs> the good taste. So it'd, it'd be really cool to to play through Arkham Asylum and City and maybe Arkham again or maybe Arkham Knight again, but definitely the first two. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely on my radar of some things to do.
got enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. I like the fact how they actually have the animations of the real guitar chord shapes. Lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, putting on quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse? <laughs> hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. They're not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. Maybe. Yeah, this is the final stretch, Jay. About another hour-ish, probably, till I get to the end, maybe. Should make a channel for random stuff you want to hey. cover, like TV shows that you like. I feel like it's more need to hear about Banshee. Well, sorry. I don't think that um, sorry. talking about that stuff in my main Remember channel doesn't have a place. Around. Like yeah, this, this channel is kind of my my extra content oh, channel. This town needs another loudmouth dyke. Woo! The fuck did you just say, Ellie? Hey. Ellie, don't get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me! Hey! Enough. Come on, you. Let's go for a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You all right, kiddo? What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Right. Ugh. As a father, that one cuts deep. <laughs> I'm glad we get the next flashback. Heal them wounds. Uh, did I hear about the five new Resident Evil games in development? No, I did not. I'm assuming one of them's a continuation. 
off of Village, and I'm assuming the other ones are probably remakes. Um, did they give any details on what specifically they are? Or just, hey, we got five games coming sometime. Since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. Is that movie based on a video game with Jamie Lee ever coming out? The name escapes me. Borderlands? Yeah, um, it's supposed to come out this year. You don't owe Tommy anything. This is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? You're damn right. God knows how long, just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time. I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. Imagine how much it takes to like <laughs> mentally prepare yourself to start that journey. Like, all right, I woke up this morning, decided I'm gonna walk to California. Ah. <laughs> oh. Got that same damn braid. Okay, Constance. Now we just need. Oh, we checked this street a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Come on. It's not going to be on that side. It's all evens. <laughs> hey, where the fuck are my guns? Son of a bitch. I gotta take them out. All right, we're good. Oh, never mind. Maybe. What are we looking for? Twenty-four, twenty-nine. Too far.
place looks abandoned. Keep searching. They painted the indoors to look like the outdoors. Being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. <laughs> Nada. Is it really nothing? It can't be. Ready. Lev, I think we're done here. No, no we're wait. not. In here. You find something? Scratches. <laughs> Scooch. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. They had power down here. Look around. Guess they've got solar. Oh. Break one nine, break one nine, come on in. Is this frequency currently in use? This is. Do you see a call sign anywhere? A, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Those are frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello? Hello? Did you miss the Super Bowl for this? I didn't watch a this single fucking second of the Super Bowl. I could care less about that shit. Abby from Santa Barbara. Could not Can care less. If, if I struggled playing well. Resident Evil 7, would I be able to play this? Well, you have to tell me why Please you answer. struggled with it before I can answer that. So, you answer that question, and then I'll be able to elaborate. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um, yeah, I hope they don't go too far too, Sean. Uh, we got a Who would be a good cast for Abby? Well, they cast Caitlin Dever. Fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. If I was to cast the show like based off of their age and how they look, I would have cast um, I was Florence Pugh. I think she would have been a great Abby, but she's 
too old for, for you know the the age that the characters are Dr. in the show. He was my dad. <sighs> Back from the satellite stations and brought him back here to home base. How many of you are there? We're about 200 strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, no, that's right. No, the fuck he wouldn't. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay. We'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. Okay. Fine. You were right. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. And because it happens so rarely. Oh, yeah, duh. Hey, this way. Do I go? Oh, in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got knocked up. Bates Motel or Hannibal? Um, well, Bates Motel at least got to go all the way to the end. They're both great. I would probably give the slight edge to Hannibal. Have a hard time with the P. Not enough and more cash, action heavy stranger. Uh, well, <laughs> so you have a hard Thank time you. with like, the first person shooter? Well, this one's third person. I'd say give it a shot. I mean, you have easier difficulties. First person and third person are two very different things. Home stretch, folks. Home stretch. How would she get up to the street from here? At least I got all my shit with her.
Okay. Santa Barbara proper is that way. My robot. man. Bitch, give me my arrow back. Greedy fuck. Hope I can cut through here. Oh, can't build nothing. Not a comforting sound. Jesus. Ah! <laughs> 
nothing yet. Shit. Barbara's downhill. 24, 25 constants. Oh, fuck you. Well, at least I get it back. What? Sometimes, man, it feels like they just, like, matrix that shit. Just dodge it, last second. Oh, fuck. If she lasts a month, uh, uh, can we please just say we're done for the day? Yeah, yeah get that thing down. Let's reset the trash. Really, man? I mean, is she even worth the trip back? It's not like. Get you? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> Something funny? Looks like you shit your pants. Fuck you say. Oh, little bitch. Oh. <laughs> you, you like funny, huh? Get up. Come on. Ah, an awesome you. choice, stranger. Anyway, Welcome. Not funny, right? It's funny. Yeah, that's her. 
Jackie, let me go. I'll tell you where she is. You can get to her before that infection takes over. Talk. She's in a holding cell in our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. I swear. Resort. Ugh. Around building. Tracks to resort. Tall round building. You know that shit's infected as fuck. Three for one sale. Bitch. Better find her before these idiots kill her. No, there's more out here. Helmet on. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. I was almost on a roll.
can't whistle. <laughs> Just gonna try to be cute, but can't whistle. Building. I agree. How do I get in there? Come on, come on, you can do it. Just a little closer, buddy. Could I leave him alone? He can't feel anything. Fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him. Okay, what the hell? We got a live one! Over here! What the fuck? Gotcha! That's all I was trying to do the whole damn time. And you're gonna come for me. You fucking asshole. Oh, just kill me. Just get it over with. Shot the goddamn chain. You gotta shoot that one little spot. Bitches. Come on, come on. You can do it. Just a little closer, buddy. I can't feel anything. Fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him.
you don't know where I'm at. Don't even play. Amber! It came from back there! Her name's Amber, too. Close is clear for now. These are some sick fucks. I'll look into it. You ain't got shit. Pin her down! On it! Dad! Push forward! Fucker. Okay.
Bitches are dropping like flies. They quit fucking around. Hide out forever there, buddy. Give me one second, guys. Sorry. My house is shaking. Hmm. Once in a great while, Fort Stewart, as far away as they are from here, blows shit up and you could feel the vibrations but it felt a little stronger than normal Thank <laughs> you. 
That was her. Let's see what's up. I got you covered. Thanks, buddy. Mutiny, baby. Where's Abby? She's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't point that fucking thing at hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Yeah, go fuck him up. Godspeed. <laughs> I already put a pretty big dent in him for you.
Abby? It all comes down to this. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. Guess you are doing this. Part of this. You made him a part of this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Dodge that last hit. I've heard a couple of people, well, my buddy Rudy, I don't know about a couple of people, my buddy Rudy said that you should have been able to choose at the end here what Ellie does. I fundamentally disagree with that, but what do you guys think? Do you like the ending of the game, or do you think you should have been able to choose?
Gavin agrees, one narrative is best. Not only does it get messy if you have multiple endings, because how do you, which ending do you follow, but also, I don't think the story comes to its proper conclusion if you choose to kill her. So, it's one of those times I'm going to have to tell Rudy, you're wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks. Looks like the fucking hand off of um the alien and signs. everything my babe Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm back. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, 
Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, she... That was just... One kiss, it doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. Calls back to earlier in the game when he was thinking her and Jesse had a thing because he had no idea she was gay. So stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. See you around. Yep. <clears throat> the fucking game's incredible, man. I'm sorry. You're never gonna convince me otherwise. This shit's brilliant. Both of these games are the most emotionally potent video games. In my opinion, that's ever been made. Fucking brilliant. Yet again. Oh, man. Shit's a journey. Alright. Let's fuck around with the chat a little bit, shall we?
Did I enjoy Ghost of Tsushima? I did. I didn't quite go as nuts for it as everybody else did. I thought it was a very good game. But, um, yeah. I can see them doing a sequel that I enjoy much more. Just fine-tuning it a bit. Uh, I think what bugged me about it, like, it was beautiful. As far as, like, the art direction of it and the way they used the wind as the waypoints and combat was badass. Uh, all the side missions and collectibles in the busy work is what turned me off. It was, which a lot of those games tends to be the Achilles heel where they just try to stuff it full of so much shit that it kind of just becomes, it kind of, it dulls the enjoyment a bit. Uh, Deadpool tra trailer was fire. Yeah, I liked it too. Many tears were shed while playing this. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Both of these games are just fucking masterpieces as far as I'm concerned. Really. I hate I hate that I'm you know I hate that not everybody has the experience that I have with it I really wish everybody did like I understand some elements of people's issue with it which is the amount that I value what this game does and the amount that I get out of it I just I, it sucks that not everybody gets that but such is art my favorite story ever in any media well, that's a that's a <laughs> bold statement sir what a great game so good is it a masterpiece in my opinion yes in my opinion both games are masterpieces you should try out the no return mode I have I have played it a bit I'm not going to play it tonight because it's already 2 in the morning but um, I might stream a couple of rounds of that sometime soon Next stream, you guys see, I'll be back to Suicide Squad. I don't want to lose too much sight of that. But I'll stream it for sure. Where do they go from here with Part 3? So, I don't have, like, specific story ideas, but I know that the overall point by the end of the third game, in my opinion, to make the trilogy kind of cohesive all the way together, would be for Ellie to finally fulfill her destiny somehow. Like, Abby's dad cannot be the only fucking dude on planet Earth that knows how to do that. And so, I think by the end of the third game, she needs to finally, you know, fulfill her destiny, become the cure for humanity, and leave the trilogy off with either a glimmer or a, 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 a lot of hope. Um... You know, the first game is, is bittersweet the way that it ends. This one's very dark, very downer. Third game, I think they need to bring a bit of hope into it by the end of it. I don't know if it should be a full game playing as Ellie or if you should play as a, a, a different character that just kind of comes across Ellie at some point in the game. But uh, by the end of it, I think that would make a nice... Ugh. A nice little narrative through line across the three games. You have the... Kind of the redemption of a father... In the first game. Not, not really redemption, but like he gets... He gets a second chance at being a father. Makes this horrible choice. This impossible choice. Second game is about the, the cycles of violence. Third game... You know, giving hope ultimate sacrifice something along those lines maybe Ellie has a kid whether it's her kid or just a, a surrogate kid the way that she was for Joel and um, she wants to leave that kid uh, has to make a similar decision as Joel but she makes the opposite choice and decides to give her life so that the kid can have a good life that's where my brain starts to go Obviously, it's a it's barely even a quarter cooked idea, and I'm sure Neil Druckmann and company have a, a an idea that's a thousand times better than anything I could think of. But that's, in my opinion, where they need to head. Uh, let's see. I actually didn't like the game when it first released. I replayed it last year, realized how much of a masterpiece it was. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you came around on it. Couldn't agree more. I like the direction they went with it, and I can't wait to see what they do with Part 3 next. Have you played Man of Meden or Little Hope? I don't recognize either of those titles. Am I going to review Suicide Squad? I will. I need to play it some more, though. Should they bring Abby back in Part 3? 
Um, I don't think there's any reason to. I think that her story crossing paths with Ellie again would be a little far-fetched to me. I think that her story came to its full conclusion in this game. I think that... I don't think there's anything left to do with Abby. I like her character. I wouldn't be pissed if I saw her. I wouldn't be confused, like, what the fuck? But that that would not be my choice. I think that her her utilization in the second game is the full arc of that character. So they either need to explore Tommy more, maybe, with having Tommy be the playable character, or a brand new character. Uh, I, I have a feeling we're not going to play as Ellie in the third game, at least not, at least not the whole game. Uh, but I wouldn't bring Abby back. I will break down in tears if Ellie dies in part three. The connection I have with these characters, unlike any media I've experienced, it, it, preach. I think Ellie will finally make the cure for humanity at the end of part three. Maybe they'll show her reunite with Joel in the afterlife. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to think about that scene. That'll kill me. Ooh, I'm not going to name the movie because I don't want to get into spoilers, but there was a movie last year that had something very similar to that that just was emotionally devastating. So I don't even, oh, I don't even want to think about that. Could Abby be the one to help Ellie make the cure? No, that wouldn't make any sense to me, honestly. Really, I think Abby's done. I, I don't think there's anything left to do with Abby, and if you're going to try to put her back in, I think at that point it's like... The, the story would strain credibility to me. I played this remaster twice already. Oh, wow. It's crazy considering I never wanted to. I'm glad I did because it's now my top five games of all time. That's awesome. Do you think they'll do a time jump? Most likely. Most likely. I talked about this yesterday. Um, I think narratively it would make sense to be a number of years in the future. Given that, I mean, there's a number of years since the release of this game. The only thing, the only reason they might not do that is for the sake of the show. Because in the show, the, the actors uh, that are cast in these roles are not, they don't look as old. Like, I know that, um, that Bella Ramsey is technically about the age that, that um, Ellie is in this game, but Ellie looks a lot older than what Belly, Bella Ramsey looks. She has, like, this youthful look to her. And even Caitlin Dever, same thing. They have youthful looks, and so I don't think they'll be able to play, you know, like Ellie's, what, 18, 19 in this one, um, so you gotta figure they're gonna be at least in their mid-20s, maybe even 30 in the third game if they do a decent time jump. They're not gonna pass off as that, I don't think. So they might restrict how much of a time jump they do when they make the third game with the knowledge that eventually this is going to have to be adapted into the TV show and they don't want to they don't want to fuck the casting over. So that's my my thought process on it. How do you think TV show only watchers will react to season 2? It really depends on how they decide to tell the story. Uh, I have a lot of confidence that Neil Druckmann and them are not going to like change the story. I know there's people out there that think that they're going to be able to bully them into doing that and I, I don't believe it for a second and I hope they don't. Uh, they're probably going to change the tweaks and things, and you know maybe the story structure, maybe the the narrative structure of the events of the games. I don't think we're going to get like season two is Ellie's season and season three is Abby's season. I think they're going to they're co mingled their stories a little more. Um, and obviously, I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to kill Joel off like early on in season two. I think they're going to find a way to keep them around at least until the end of season two. So they might incorporate a lot more of the flashbacks. Uh, they might incorporate some of Abby's storyline and have either Abby and company arriving at Jackson be the s season finale or them killing Joel be the season finale, maybe. Um, I'm really not sure, but it, it's going to be, it's going to depend on how they tell the story on whether TV show watchers are going to accept it or if they're going to be just as up in arms as, as the video game players were back in 2020. Um, I feel like the story is so good and the characters are so good that there's a way that they can do it that would make it feel earned. Whereas... I, I kind of want to... I wish I could like almost see into an alternate reality where the leaks didn't happen. 
and see if this game got anywhere near the backlash that it got without the leaks. Because the leaks is what caused it all. They leaked all the big story points. Some of them were false, where they said, you know, Joel's gonna die, and they said that Abby was trans, and uh, you, you play as Abby through most of the game, and like all this stuff, that just, just all these details that just riled everybody up that didn't want to give the game a chance. And so most people that hated the game walked in wanting to hate it. So I'm very curious if, the, if people were able to just experience the game, what that scale would have been without the leaks. And the TV show might be evidence of that, I'm not sure. We'll see. Wayfaring stranger. These games got me wanting to get a PS5. I've always been an Xbox guy. Do it! Do it! Don't be a brand loyalist when it comes to video games. I preach that all the time. Look, I buy every PlayStation and every Xbox that has come out. They're both pretty much in every generation. They've both been great consoles, with the exception of the Xbox One, which I thought was a shit console, genuinely. That's the worst console I've ever bought in my life. But don't close yourself off to games like The Last of Us and God of War and the Spider-Man series because you like Xbox, or if, you're, if you like PlayStation, don't close yourself off to Gears of War and Halo and all of those. Like, just experience all of it. So, I highly encourage you. Get a PS5 and play The Last of Us Part 1 and then The Last of Us Part 2. I think I know what movie you're talking about, Cody, and yes, that scene is a tearjerker. Absolutely. You think Ellie goes back after Dina? Probably not. Um... Again, much like with Abby, I feel like Dina had her place in this, and I don't think her chasing after Dina would make much narrative sense. I think by the end of it, she accepts that, that even before she left, she knew that her ending this and fulfilling her promise and avenging Joel meant more to her than whatever she had with Dina. And she knew when she walked out that door, there was a chance she was going to come back and have lost everything. And she was fine with that. So, her coming back and, you know, seeing the guitar and kind of getting an even more visual reinforcement of how much she's lost. And then going off to, to unknown territory as the credits come on. I don't read that as her going to find Dean. I read that as her going on to the next chapter of her life. Having been able to not forgive Abby but having being able to let that go and while also being able to fully forgive Joel in her heart that's the end of the story for part two for me and so um, yeah I think Dina just like with Abby had their place in the second game and doesn't make much sense to bring them back how do you think uh, Bella Ramsey will do with Ellie's bloodlust of the show? I think she's going to do great. She's... The, the cast is fucking perfect in that show. Like, every single one of them has been incredible. So I have no doubts they're all going to nail it. Do you think the new Exorcist sequel involved Linda Blair front and center to get people in the theater? <laughs> I don't know. That's clearly what they had planned or what they were hoping for. By, uh not blowing that load right away with the exorcist believer and also by having her show up in the last second for that bullshit little cameo but with how poor believer did i really don't know if they're going to continue on with the trilogy or if they're just going to start from scratch or what they're going to do so i think joel will die in the finale of season two i, I think that's pretty safe i think it's a pretty safe bet what about a prequel to Last of Us that focuses on different people? Uh, I think that they need to finish the main storyline with the part three, and then they have carte blanche. They can do prequels, they can do side cools, they can do spinoffs, whatever they want to do. But I wouldn't want them to start doing that until they've closed off the story. Joel might not die in the show. That They always change things. No, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if they changed that, they would get even more backlash than they did when this game came out. Because the amount of people that love this game would be fucking pissed 
and would be like, oh, so you cowered to the Twitter mob. You really changed your fiction to appease the assholes that sent you death threats and shit all over your game and tried to literally dismantle years of your work. Why would you ever do that? So I, 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 can, I will bet testicles that they will not do that. Anything's possible. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm so confident that they're not going to do that. I think, if anything, they're just going to delay it. Do you think they'll split season two and two, turn it into three seasons altogether? I think they've already said that they're going to do that. Because the story of this game is way too massive to put into one season of television. And I think I saw that the first or season two is only going to be seven episodes. So, yeah, I really think that season two is probably going to focus on a lot of the backstory and the build-up and culminate with Joel's death. And then you're going to get a season three that's going to be a larger season than season two that's going to focus on the bloodlust and Abby and the Seraphites versus the wolves and all of that. Uh, Xbox X might be the last one. Yeah, it seems to be. They've hinted at that for a while, and it seems to be that that's going to be the way that it is. So we'll see how that goes. How do you feel about them phasing out physical discs for games like they're trying to do with movies? I've already kind of done that. As much as I'm a physical media guy, I mean, you see all the movie shelves back there. I will never stop buying Blu-rays and 4Ks, but with video games, not only do I just not have room to also collect all the video games that I buy, but I like the convenience of having the digital. I know you got the fear mongers out there like, it's just a license and they can rip it away from you at any time. Until that happens, I have doubts they're actually going to do that. I really don't think that that's something that, that any of these companies are going to be in practice to do, to fuck over their customers. So I don't really have that fear, but like I have multiple PlayStations and multiple Xboxes in the house, and what I love is like if I'm playing this and I get to a stopping point, I turn the game off, if I turn my PlayStation on in one of the other rooms in my house... It literally just syncs with the PlayStation Cloud and puts me right where I'm, right where I'm at. But if I, it, that's only in the digital versions. Because if I had the disc, I would have to come in here, open the PlayStation, or, or get the disc out of the PlayStation, take it to whatever room I'm going to play it in, put it in, and had to load. So I, I like the digital versions much more. And and there's very rarely nowadays that I buy the physical discs. Uh, usually I just I I buy the the digital. And, and sometimes I like being able to play it at midnight, too. And since they don't do midnight, you know, releases anymore, like GameStop and shit, that's the way to go. So, yeah, I'm already kind of fully bought into the digital gaming. Ugh. All right, I'll answer a couple more, guys. It's 2.11 a.m., and so um, we'll be getting off here in just a minute. Last of Us franchise is going to go down. It's one of the best gaming franchises ever. I agree. I think it already has. Uh, curious to see how much more infected we get in season two. Yeah, I hope they ramp that up a little bit because that was something. It, it wasn't an issue for me, but that was a common complaint that I heard from people that watched the show was that after the first couple episodes, it felt like the infected kind of faded into the background a bit, except for the one episode with the bloater and the horde. But um, yeah, I, I don't disagree. I'll only buy a disc game if it's cheaper than digital. I recently got Elden Ring cheaper on disc. That That's true as well. That, those are some of the times I'll buy um, discs. I prefer digital. Yep. Better be some long-ass episodes if there's only seven. I, I thought the same thing. Again, I don't remember where I read that, but it, it seemed official when I read it, and it felt odd. I was like, why only seven? Because uh, the last season was ten. So, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Better be longer episodes. And that would make sense. I mean, an hour and a half episodes, seven episodes. I, I wouldn't hate that. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That is The Last of Us Remastered. Got it in six streams. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Charles. So, <laughs> uh, everybody be sure to support CP's streams. He's done 12 of them or 13 of them so far. And he's going to play through the whole game. So, he's probably going to have about 12 or 13 more. But, uh... Yeah, go support his stream. Go taunt him that I, I beat it in half the amount of time just to fuck with him. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you're somebody that's new, I will be doing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League streams again. 
Uh, we've already talked a number of times and, uh, about doing like Arkham and some throwback stuff. And I think there's a number of titles coming out here soon. I don't know if I'm going to play them. Uh, like Skull and Bones. There was another one that I saw, that like a, a ghost something that comes out next week. So I might have some new games here coming soon. But going to actively try to be more active on this channel than I was in 2023. That's my, uh, that's my promise to you. So thank you everybody for watching. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed your Super Bowl. I don't even know who the fuck won. <laughs>